Hi all, welcome to the next in the series Understanding and Using Excel. This time we'll be looking at how to use filters in a spreadsheet to only see the data that I want to see and also importantly how to find blank cells that may be spread throughout the data in columns. So on with the demonstration. Here I have a spreadsheet that has uh, titles across the top salesperson etc to sales. There are three salespeople Buchanan, Devolio and Siyama. Uh, these, this is a record of the sales I've made in 2011 and 2012 not particularly in any order. Uh, the type of sale, uh, there are four things that they sell, beverages, produce, dairy and meat. They sell in northeast, west and south regions. A certain number of units uh, are recorded for each sale and a sales value. Before I can create a filter, I need to make certain of a couple of little things. First of all, that there are headings in the, uh, in the top uh, 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 above, the, uh, above the records with a blank row above the headings unless the headings are in row 1. In this case they're in row 5 so I need to have a blank row. I also need to make certain that preferably there are no blank columns in the data and no blank rows in the data. So if I scroll down here just to have a look at uh, how much data I have in this spreadsheet I can see that the um, spreadsheet goes down about 117 odd uh, um, rows and there are no blank rows in the data. So at this stage my data matches the requirements. Now I click on any cell in the data and on the data tab I need to click in the sort and filter group the filter button. What that does that puts filter arrows next to each of the headings and if I wanted for example to just see the sales for Suyama I could click on the filter arrow unselect all put a tick in Suyama and click OK. That just shows me his sales. I can further filter. I might want to see just his sales for the year 2012. Untick select all, tick in 2012, click OK and there are just his sales uh, for that particular year. If I wanted to see just his sales for 2012 uh, in the uh, northern region, untick north OK and there are just the sales he made in the northern region. To clear all of the filters at the one time I can go up here to the clear command and that puts me back where I was. So uh, that's how I create the filter, how I use the filter and how I can get rid of the filter. Just imagine that there were hundreds of rows, maybe thousands of rows in your data and some of the cells had blank entries or blank where, where some of the cells were blank so I'm going to create some blank cells here in the sales area I'll create half a dozen or so I'll scroll down to one that we cannot see delete now I'll go back to the top and I want now to format those blank cells so that they stand out to do that I need to select all of the cells in that particular column. I've dragged down through but you can use control shift and the down arrow key if you wish. Then I go to the home tab and look for the conditional formatting drop arrow here and I want to create a new rule and that new rule will say format only cells that contain a cell value of blank and I want to format those blank cells with a fill color we'll say of red so they stand out. Click OK, click OK again and now I will see that the blank cells are all formatted in red. I can see them much more easily. But as I mentioned earlier, what if there were hundreds or thousands of rows? I don't want to have to go down looking for the blank cells. What I can do is to click on the drop arrow here for the filtering for the sales column and I can say sort by colour. I want to sort by the colour red and it puts all the red cells at the top. 
So I'll go through that again. I'll just undo that action. I've formatted my blank cells. Now I click the drop arrow and I say sort by colour by the colour red and there they all are now. So if I know that this sale for Buchanan for example was $3,500 as soon as I enter that amount in and press enter that cell is no longer formatted in red because it no longer matches the rule. So that's how I can uh, sort by uh, colour for cells that are blank once I've formatted them. So hopefully you'll find that handy. Uh, I certainly do. It's very often used in government departments, for example, where somebody is taking a uh, telephone call. Uh, somebody may not know offhand their mobile phone number, so the cell is left blank and they can be easily found by sorting by colour. Don't forget to subscribe because there will be lots more hints, tips, tricks and procedures that will uh, appear uh, in this YouTube uh, account shortly.